What is up everybody? Welcome back to another video. My name is Justin and you guys are here with Just Inked. I haven't done that intro in a while and man does that feel good to say that again. But I am going to start this video up by saying that I absolutely love my alien tattoo. It is probably one of my favorite tattoos that I have. The only other tattoo that I think will beat it is my back tattoo that is coming very soon. So I definitely recommend you subscribe, join the community so you don't miss that tattoo or any other content that I have in terms of my bodysuit and my journey towards getting that bodysuit. But I will admit there is one thing that I really don't like about this tattoo that I have and I kind of semi regret. I am also gonna be sharing with you guys the reason why I got this alien tattoo, the meaning behind it. And for anybody out there that wants to get a leg sleeve, I'm gonna share with you a huge, huge tip that I recommend you follow so you don't end up like me in my position where you semi regret this tattoo or even worse, you regret that tattoo fully. Let's get to it, let's go. I haven't done that in a while either. <laughs> Feels good to go back to the old way. Let's go. So this alien tattoo was a piece that me and Brandon kind of randomly thought about when we were going ahead and actually tattooing the astronaut on my leg, the out of this world astronaut that everybody loves a lot. You know, we were thinking about ideas for the back of the thigh because although there was an idea that I had in mind, it just didn't fit the theme and what I wanted to go for. And it just seemed like it was out of place. Now we joked around about the alien at first and all that, but then we started to realize how sick this piece would actually be and how well it could actually fit into the sleeve that I have going for it. Because as we can see, the bottom of the leg is kind of dedicated towards the ancient Egyptians, the old ways. And then as we move up, we have space, we have the astronaut, and then that astronaut being kind of present and the new way of human beings and the human race. But I also wanted to have something in this sleeve that kind of resembled the future. And the alien is what perfectly resembled that kind of vision that I had and fit perfectly. Now see, the alien isn't really an alien in my eyes. It is the potential of what human beings can be one day. It's the potential for human evolution. Because our minds, I think, are our greatest asset. And I believe with evolution, our minds will continue to grow and become even bigger, stronger of that of like an alien. But then I didn't want to just have that alien just sitting there and doing nothing. I kind of want to add a little bit more into it. And that's when I thought about the DNA strand because I wanted it to kind of resemble the alien or humans holding their past in their hand, holding the DNA, the structure to everything that we've done and everything that we can potentially do. To me, this meant holding of humanity and that is why I really call this piece humanity's destiny. But then another super crazy part about this alien piece and actually this wasn't planned at all and I only realized it till after I got the piece done but it actually made me even more excited to have this piece on me was there's a speculation that aliens once helped out the ancient Egyptians and the civilization because they were so ahead of their time in the stuff that they knew and the stuff that they built. From their understanding of space to the layout of the pyramids that were perfectly resembled the stars to how they were able to build the pyramids so precisely and perfectly. These were things that we today still do not understand and there are some speculations out there that the aliens helped out the ancient Egyptians. Now, I do not know if this is true or not. Uh, that is open for discussion, but I just think it is absolutely amazing to have that kind of theme just portrayed in this lace sleeve and just, you know, have the alien kind of looking over that ancient Egyptian culture that they helped out. It just works out perfectly. Also, another reason to why I love this alien tattoo and this piece is I just love aliens. I love the thought of them. I love what they can resemble, what they can be. And I truly do believe that there is something else out there. We are not the only ones here. Now, I want you guys to go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. If you like the alien tattoo, I also want you guys to go ahead and subscribe. So again, you don't miss that back tattoo that I have. Trust me, it is one of my best pieces yet. And you might like that one even more than this alien. I also want you guys to go ahead in the comment section and let me know, what do you think of aliens? Do you believe in them or not? And what do you think of the tattoo and its meaning? I would love to hear your opinions on it. So now I'm sure you guys are wondering why I kind of regret this tattoo to begin with. How can somebody that just talks so highly about it, that loves it so much, the uniqueness and how it plays into so many different types of themes, hate a tattoo and talk so highly about it? Well, I'm gonna tell you right now, and that is, the placement of this tattoo. I can't fucking see it. It's my favorite tattoo and I can't see it. You know how annoying and how hard that is on me to not be able to see? Even in the mirror, it is hard for me to see this piece in its full glory. The only time I am ever able to really see this piece and really appreciate it 
is in pictures and you don't understand how much that hurts when it's your favorite tattoo and you can't just appreciate it and really go in and look at all the little details that it has. Now there is nobody to blame for this kind of situation that I am. It's not Brandon's fault, it's not my fault because we just didn't know what to put in this spot. We kind of just thought of it last minute and it was a kind of a question mark up until the astronaut tattoo and even then leading up we still kind of had to get that idea run and uh, perfectly set in and i really didn't think that i would love this tattoo as much as i do right now when we were planning it when we were getting it done it was only until after it was done that i just loved it completely and it does suck again that i am only able to really appreciate it from pictures and mirrors i can barely see it and when i bend backwards like right now I only see just a glimpse of it. So now my huge tip to everybody out there that is thinking about getting a leg sleeve, my tip is do not get anything that you want to see or love or has a lot of meaning in this spot or the back of the thigh because you will not see it and you will regret this spot because you're gonna wish you were able to see it a lot more. I'm gonna give you guys another example that actually just happened recently and this Are is with ready? my sister. She had a no. spot on the back of her thigh that needs to be filled. She's been getting her lace sleeve and working on hers and she was getting this piece that she really loved. It didn't really have much meaning but it was just something that she really loved and wanted to see. And while she was there, I told her, I'm like, if you get it in the back of the thigh, you will not see it and you will regret it. And after some talking and even the artist agreed with me, Josh said the same thing. He said, listen, you're not going to see it that much. We ended up convincing her to move it to the bottom of the outer calf. And now she is able to see it so much more and appreciate it a lot more. Where if she got it on the back, she would be kind of regretting it because she wouldn't be able to see it. Now, I am not telling anybody out there to not get anything at the back of the thigh. You have to get something there to obviously fill the whole leg sleeve up. Now, I'm going to give you an example of Osain. He does a great job in terms of this leg sleeve. Is He just puts kind of filigree and just something there to fill it in. He doesn't put anything meaningful in the back. So it kind of still gets filled up, but it still looks nice. But there isn't anything there where this guy in this canvas is saying, shit, I wish I had it so I was able to see it a lot more. So this is a much better route to go about it if you can do it that way. Another tip you guys can go about doing, and, and that is splitting up the thigh into certain sections. You can do it I did, and you can have the front being one section and then the back being another, or you can have it being the side being one and then the inner thigh being another section. Now there are pros and cons to each way you go about it. With the way I did it, you can obviously see that front piece so much more than if you were to have it split on the sides, but then you are not able to see the back of the thigh where if you go and split it on the half half and the inner and outer you are able to see that inner very well that outer you're still able to see but you just don't get to appreciate the art as much if you had like a front one like i do so it's just kind of a personal preference on your end but it is something to take into account when you are planning for that tattoo and that leg sleeve. It's just all about thinking ahead and going with your artist and seeing what works best. Also, I will be making a video in the near future on tattoo areas that I recommend you don't get because you might not be able to see it and you might run into the situation that I am in with the alien. Also, I want you guys to go ahead in the comments section and let me know of any other areas that you have tattoos in that you are running into the same situation with and you recommend people don't get in that area as well. I recommend you also go ahead and check out this video. It is the five tattoos that you will not regret and also this video as well because it'll help in terms of planning out a sleeve so you can visually see how it'll lay out using your printer but like always i'll see you soon justin out later guys